Hello folks and welcome to the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics. Today I'm Dan Easy and this is Bob Smooth. Uh, yes, hello and welcome to the Winter Olympics. Today we're going to start off with ski jumping. Oh wow, look at that and she's off. Hey Bob, the last time I saw him jump like that was your wife on me. <laughs> Next up is the skeleton, a very dangerous event. I heard that the skeleton is a very difficult thing to do, especially since you're by yourself and you're going face first. Hey Bob, last time I saw somebody lay down that flat was your wife in bed last night. Ha <laughs> ha! And last we have freestyle ice skating. Let's check out how these people are going to do. Hey Bob, the last time I saw somebody this flexible in the leotard was your wife last night. Ha <laughs> ha! And now we're back to the Winter Olympics. I'll see you next time, folks. Hello and good morning. Welcome to your Little Vlogs Nation. My name is Cody, also known as Just Two Eyes. And that's Graham. And this is a video about love. Now I know what you're saying, Cody, what do you know about love? You don't really know nothing much. I mean, look at you, you're single. You don't know nothing. But in some shape, way, or form, we all do know about love from time to time. We know how it feels, we know how much it hurts, we know how much we have to sacrifice, we know how good it feels, and we know how much it would take to be in love, to hold on to love. Because being in love is easy. Being in love is just as simple as putting on a shirt, but holding on to love is just as difficult as making this shirt look amazing. I do, you know it. Yes, it starts off as infatuation, infatuation, however you want to pronounce it. And you see this person and you're attracted to them by how they look, by what they say, about what they do. Yeah, something special that attracts you to them, that makes you want to get to know them better, that makes you want to get to know them more on a personal level. And then once you do, once you've actually seen the love of your life, what are you willing to do? How far are you willing to go? What are you willing to say to get this person? What are you willing to do to keep this person, make them happy? Are you willing to sacrifice almost everything you have, love, and own to make sure that they are the number one in your life? And you know, sometimes I forget that love makes you really, really stupid. Love makes you forget that you have morals, that you used to stand for something, and you used to have a way of life that used to make you happy that you've given up a long time ago. Love makes you spend more money than you actually should. Love makes you wake up in the middle of the night to try to call that person. I'll go to the house unannounced knocking on that door like everything's fine. But love also makes you strong, it makes you wise, it makes you realize things that were never there before. It makes you realize parts of you that you never knew were there before. It makes you realize that those things that you thought were so important before you can easily sacrifice because you have so much better now. Also, FYI, PSA, and BT dubs, love is not easy. Of course, the only way we grow within love, the only way we grow with the person that we're with, is with mistakes. Constant mistakes. Contrary to popular belief, sometimes love is easy. Only to the effect of that when you think about this person, it gives you a clear, concise thought. Yes, they're worth it. But if it's struggle after struggle after struggle, and strife after strife after strife, and for some reason, they keep making the exact same mistakes, they're not worth it. And I know what you're thinking, Cody, you kind of forgot something that's very important in a lot of relationships. I'm not going to talk about sex yet. That's a whole nother ball game, field, state, country of just, it's too, that's, that's too complicated. Like, love is complicated, love is difficult, but love I can explain. Sex, that's, that's just, don't ever confuse sex with love. Don't ever think just because this person is having sex with me, that means that they love me. Don't ever do that. But that'll be that. So if you like what I'm doing, you want to see what else I'm doing, like, share, comment, subscribe. No, that wasn't a bit much. I need to make this more entertaining. I can't just have my ending being all cut and dry. You know what I'm talking about? No. All right. Don't you. Re all right. <laughs> 